is Lisa, and this is a hips and hamstrings yoga flow for runners. So the idea of getting into a runner's mentality is to allow sensation to come up, for allowing emotions to come up in any way they need to and still take it one step at a time anyway, no matter how challenging life or the road may get. Nelson Mandela says it always seems, or once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. And I feel that that is a great mentality for runners. And just anyone who wants to work on feeling the sensation and creating a mental toughness. And as we get into the hips and the hamstrings, we'll definitely explore that. So let's come into a comfortable seated position. Ground down through the sit bones, rise to the crown of the head. Come to close the eyes, tune on in to the breath, tune on in to the body. Take a nice big deep breath in and exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. Last big deep inhale and exhale. And just continue to breathe naturally at your own pace. And set intention for yourself for this practice. Going off the theme of creating some mental strength within the mind as we dive into flexibility within the body. And with that, let's open this practice with one loud OM. Take a nice big deep inhale for OM. OM. And gently float the eyes open. All right, let's go ahead and come on to the hands and knees. For this practice, you may need a blanket, two blocks, but if you don't have that at home, that's okay. You don't need it. So spread the fingertips nice and wide, curl the toes under, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Take a nice big deep inhale, tilt the pelvis forward and down. Soften the belly down towards the yoga mat and roll the gaze forward and up. Exhale, tops of feet come to the floor. Roll through the vertebrae, chin comes towards the chest. Twice more, inhaling, curling the toes under. Sending the belly on down, rolling the gaze forward and up. Exhale, tops of feet come to the floor. Roll through the vertebrae, chin comes towards the chest. And just continue for two more breaths. Inhale, sending the belly on down, rolling the gaze forward and up. Exhale, tops of feet come to the floor. Roll through vertebrae, chin comes towards chest. And last time, inhaling. And exhale. When you're absolutely ready, slowly come back to a nice neutral tabletop position. Reach the right heel on back. And then go ahead, begin to send the right heel forward and back. Getting a nice stretch within the Achilles tendon. And then when you're absolutely ready, go ahead, see if you can send the right heel off of the yoga mat and then sweep the right foot all the way over to the side, planting the right foot on the floor. So I'm gonna turn for you so you can see me. I'm planting it all the way over to the right. And then I'm gonna go ahead, send the left hand to center. Inhale, sweep the right hand all the way on up towards the ceiling, opening on up. And exhale, swim the hand all the way on down. Walk the fingertips as far forward as possible, bowing on down, taking a nice big deep breath in. And exhale. Last big deep inhale. And exhale. Go ahead, slowly walk the hands back underneath the shoulders. Place the hands onto the hips. Come to rise all the way on up in gate posture. Send the right hand down the leg. Sweep the left hand up and over. Feeling a nice stretch as you wrap the right rib cage underneath the left, drawing the navel in, reaching up and over. And then exhale, go ahead, send the left hand on down. Bring the right hand up overhead. Inhaling. And exhale. Beautiful. And then go ahead, swim that right hand on down. And then send the right knee back underneath the hip. Let's take that into the opposite side. So reach the left heel on back. And then go ahead, send 
the heel forward and back, drawing the navel on in, pressing into the fingertips. Go ahead, square the hips, lift the left heel off of the yoga mat, and then sweep the left foot all the way over to the left side. Planting all four corners of the foot onto the yoga mat, walk the hands as far forward as possible, bowing on down. Chin comes towards the chest, round the shoulders towards the heart, inhale. And exhale. The last big deep breath in. And exhale. Beautiful, go ahead, slowly walk the hands back underneath the shoulders. Use your core to go ahead, rise all the way on up. Be mindful of that right knee. And then go ahead, slowly sweep the right hand up and over, lengthening through the right side as you send the left hand down the leg, drawing the navel in and up towards the heart, reaching up and over. Take a nice big deep inhale. And exhale, go ahead, send the right hand on down and reach the left fingertips up and over. Last big deep inhale, spin the right rib cage underneath the left and go ahead, swim the hands on down. Come back to a nice neutral tabletop position. Curl the toes under, press into the hands and feet, lift up and back into downward facing dog and just begin to pedal out the legs. Rounding the shoulder blades towards the rib cage, sending the sit bones nice and high. Take a nice big deep inhale and exhale. When you're absolutely ready, find stillness in downward facing dog. And downward dog's already a nice hamstring stretch. As you reach the heels down towards the yoga mat, you round through the shoulder blades, pressing to the hands, pressing up and away. And just feel a nice stretch within the back of the heels, the calf muscles, the legs. Sway the head yes. And sway the head no. And then go ahead, slowly lift the right heel all the way up towards the ceiling, bend the right knee and step the right foot in between the hands. You can always help the leg forward if you need to by taking a hold of it and helping it forward. Release the left knee on down. Go ahead, slowly ground down through the right fingertips and then sweep the left arm up and over, taking a nice big deep inhale and exhale. And then from here, slowly place the left hand on down and then sweep the right hand up and over. Inhaling and exhaling. So I'm grounding down through my left fingertips and again, I'm sending the left rib cage underneath the right. And then when you're absolutely ready, swim the right hand on down, hug the inner thighs in towards each other, interlace the fingers, the first finger and thumb are free. And then sweep the hands up and back, sending the hips forward and down. Taking a nice big deep breath in and exhale. Honor any sensation that comes up for you, especially in the hips and just breathing through it, taking it one breath at a time. Inhale and exhale. Last big deep breath in. And exhale, slowly swim the hands on down. Walk the hands towards the hips, come up onto the right heel of the foot, slide or wiggle that right foot on forward. The left hip is over the knee, and if you have your blocks with you, you can go ahead and incorporate them. Go ahead, flex the right toes towards the ceiling, ground down through the left foot, square the hips, right hip comes back as the left hip moves forward. Take a nice big deep breath in, and exhale to fold. Inhaling and exhaling. And just breathe into that right hamstring. Be very compassionate with yourself. Be very gentle. I feel on the road to just continuing to work hard and building mental strength. It's really important to practice compassion with the body so we don't overdo it. Last big deep inhale and exhale. And slowly rise through head, neck, and chest. Ground down through the left hand, sweep the right hand all the way up towards the ceiling, opening up in the heart space, and then swim the right hand on down. Slide the right knee underneath that ankle, and then curl the left toes under, and then send the hips up and back, slowly melting over the right leg in Padvashtanasana pyramid pose. And again, same thing without the blocks having the hands to frame the foot or the leg. We're on the ball of the left foot. We keep sending the right hip back as the left hip moves forward, inhaling 
and exhale. Breathing in and exhale. Last big deep breath here. Exhale. Go ahead, come up onto the right heel of the foot. If it's accessible, getting a little bit deeper. Last big deep breath in. And exhale, go ahead, plant the right foot on down. Send the left hand to the inside of the right foot and then slowly bring the right hand on up. Again, if this is a lot, you can just place the right hand to the hip and then begin to twist, sending the left rib cage underneath the right. Inhaling. And exhale. Last big deep breath in. And exhale. Swim the right hand all the way on down. Bend on into the right knee. Have the hands come to the front of the mat and come on up into supported warrior three. Kick up through that left heel, but keep the hips nice and square. And then go ahead, send the nose towards the knee as you reach the left heel all the way on up, nice and high. Maybe bend the left knee and then see if you can send that left knee up a little bit higher. Maybe you can take a hold of the ankle. Take a little bit of balance posture. Inhale and exhale. Last big deep breath in. Exhale, step the left foot behind the right foot. Perfect. Come into a forward fold. Big deep inhale and exhale. Last big deep breath in and exhale. Perfect. Go ahead, step the left foot as far back as possible. Pivot the left foot down onto the yoga mat. Windmill the arms into warrior two. Melting the shoulders away from the ears. Keep tracing the right knee towards the pinky toe. Keep bending on into the right knee to really send the hips forward and down, keeping and lengthening through that tailbone. Take a nice big deep breath in. And exhale. Breathing in. And exhale. Last big deep breath here and exhale. And go ahead and reach the right fingertips forward, flip the right hand, bring it up and back into reverse triangle, straightening the right leg as you send the left hand down the block, the, as you send the left hand down the leg and then go ahead and send the left hand to the hip maybe if sending the left hand down the leg is too much. And then slowly see if you can send the right hand on down to the inside of the right foot, reaching the left fingertips up towards the ceiling, wrapping the right rib cage underneath the left, staying nice and tall, breathing in, sighing it out. Last big deep inhale. And on an exhale, go ahead, windmill the hands on down. Framing the right foot, coming onto the ball of the left foot, stepping back into plank posture, taking a nice big deep inhale. And exhale. Last big deep breath in and exhale. And when you are absolutely ready, knees, chest, chin. Inhaling into cobra, tops of feet come to the floor, rise through head, neck and chest. And then exhale, curl toes under, press up and back, downward dog. You can continue to pedal out the legs and breathe. and eventually coming to stillness. When you're absolutely ready, go ahead, inhale, the left heel all the way up towards the ceiling, bend on into the left knee, and then again, step the left foot in between the hands. Release the right knee on down. Ground down through the left hand, and then see if you can sweep the right hand up and over. Again, working and using that left hand to work that left rib cage underneath the right. Inhale. And exhale, sweep the right hand on down. And then go ahead, sweep the left hand up and over. Breathing in. And exhaling. Last big deep inhale. And exhale. And then go ahead, bring both hands to frame 
that left foot. Interlace the fingers, first finger and thumb are free, and then reach the hands up and over. You can cross the thumbs in the opposite direction, send the hips forward and down. This should get right into the psoas or that right hip flexor. Big deep inhale, and exhale. Breathing in and exhale. Keep engaging the glute muscles, hugging the inner thighs and towards each other. Last big deep breath here. And on an exhale, sweep the hands all the way on down. Walk the hands all the way towards the hips, coming up onto the heel of the left foot. Slide or wiggle the left foot on forward to send the right hip over the knee. Inhale. And exhale to fold and honor the sensation. Be compassionate with yourself. Breathe. Keep sending the left hip back as the right hip moves forward. Last big deep inhale. And exhale. From here, go ahead, slide that ankle underneath the knee, curl the right toes under, send it up and back. Padvoshtanasana, Padvoshtanasana. Pyramid pose. And it's the same cues for the hamstring stretch. You just keep sending the left hip back as the right hip moves forward, breathing in. And exhale. Last big deep inhale. And exhale. And then see if you can come up onto the left heel of the foot. Maybe you're up on the fingertips. Send the toes nice and high. Big deep breath in. And exhale, go ahead, plant the left foot on down, ground down through the right fingertips, and then sweep that left hand all the way up towards the ceiling. Send the left hand to the hip and continue to twist. Breathing in and sighing it out. Last big deep inhale and exhale. Perfect. Slim the left hand on down, ground down through the left foot. Go ahead, slowly sweep the right hand on up towards the ceiling. Grounding down through that left foot, draw the navel on in and then up towards the heart and then send the nose towards the shin as you kick the right heel up towards the ceiling, maybe bending the knees and then taking up a little bit more. Sometimes to play around, <laughs> I like to take a hold of the right foot to get an extra quad stretch. I know that's a lot. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Taking a nice big deep inhale. And exhale. Last big deep breath in. Exhale this time, step the right foot behind that left foot. So we're crisscrossing those ankles and coming into a forward fold. Taking a nice big deep breath in. And exhale. Last big deep inhale and exhale. And go ahead, step the right foot on back. Pivot the right foot down onto the yoga mat. Windmill the arms into warrior two. Winding the stance as much as you need to. I'm gonna bring it a little bit deeper into my warrior two. Sending the tailbone on down, keeping a heel arch connection. So that left Heel should be in alignment with the right arch. And then just bring the hands on up or the arms on up in warrior two. Taking a nice big deep inhale. Exhale, bend your deepest. Big deep breath in. Exhale, gazing forward. Imagining the destination, the goal. And when you're ready, reach the left fingertips all the way forward. Flip the left hand, bring it up and back. Reverse your triangle, straightening the left leg. Feeling a nice stretch on the left side of the body. And then exhale, go ahead, slowly place the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Stay nice and high in triangle posture. Take a nice big deep breath in. And exhale. Last big deep inhale. And exhale. And then windmill the hands on down. Come up onto the right ball of the foot. Step back into your plank posture. Hold your plank. Draw the navel on in. Take a nice big deep breath here. And exhale. Last big deep inhale. And exhale. 
and slowly lower all the way down onto the belly. Okay, let's take a quad stretch. So you can come onto your side if that feels good. And then you can see if you can take a hold of the top of the right foot. That's one way. Another way to do this is to come into Sphinx Pose, bend the right knee, and then take a hold. Or my favorite way, bring the forehead on down and then take a hold of the foot. We're just gonna hold it here for about three breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. Honor any sensation that comes up, especially in the lower body. Honor any thoughts that come up for you as a part of the journey, whether they be positive or not so positive. And exhale. Last big deep breath in. And exhale slowly. Release that quad muscle. Okay, let's go ahead and take it into the opposite side so you can draw the heel in towards the glute muscle. You can maybe come up onto the right forearm or you can just send the forehead on down. And exhaling. And just hold here. And when you are absolutely ready, go ahead, release the foot on down. Bring the hands to frame the heart. Slowly rise, peeling the heart off the mat in Cobra. And then exhale, curl toes under, press up and back, downward facing dog. When you're absolutely ready, gaze between the hands. You can either step forward and then come to sit, or my favorite, bend the knees, and then see if you can kind of hop forward. You're supposed to scoop through. If you have the scoop through in your practice, go ahead. It didn't come to me today. It doesn't really matter, that's not the point. So let's go ahead, bend the knees and get into the hips. Send the heart forward, melt the shoulders away from the ears, and exhale round through the upper back, chin comes towards the chest. Last time, inhaling, sending the heart forward, and exhale to round. Perfect, melt the shoulders away from the ears, plant the feet on down. Slowly round all the way down onto the back. And just windshield wiper the knees from side to side. So getting to the hips, go ahead, focusing on the lower body, see if you can walk the feet towards the fingertips. I'm feeling for the back of the heels with the fingertips. Then I'm gonna press into the feet and then lift the hips on up. Now it may just lift a little bit off the yoga mat and that is okay. You can stay here or wherever you are holding this position. You can interlace the fingers underneath and then maybe placing the fingertips onto the ground, keeping the sit bones nice and high. You can send one leg on up, reach, bend and release. Feel for the back of the heels again and then bend, setting the knee in towards the nose. Reaching through the left heel, keeping the glute muscles nice and high. Then, and release. Hold for one more big deep inhale. And exhale. And slowly come to lower all the way on down. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Rock from side to side. Last pose before we come on into our Shavasana will be pigeon or Last pose before we come on into our Shavasana will be reclined pigeon. So place the left foot onto the yoga mat. 
See if you can send the right side of the foot onto the left knee and then see if you can draw the left knee in towards the chest. And I have a very tight butt cheek, so I feel it definitely. And then I interlace hands underneath the knee, threading the right arm underneath the right leg. And then I begin to inhale. And on an exhale, I draw the left knee in towards the heart space. And then maybe I extend the left heel up towards the ceiling. And take a nice big deep breath in. And sigh it out, let all the energy drain from that left foot down through that leg. And then go ahead, release the left foot on down. Wrap the right hand underneath the knee and then see if you can draw the right knee in towards the armpit, walking the hand up the ankle and then slowly coming into half happy baby, maybe extending the left leg on out. Take a nice big deep breath in and exhale. Last big deep inhale. And exhale. And then see if you can send the right leg all the way over to the left side and come to twist. And I have a blanket right there resting underneath my foot. Inhaling. And exhaling. Last big deep breath in. And exhale. And slowly draw the knee back and release. Last side. Bend the left knee, or I should say, place the right foot down onto the yoga mat. And then send that left side of the foot onto the right knee, threading the hands underneath the right knee. Drawing the right knee in and exhaling. Maybe even extending the right heel up towards the ceiling. And just hold it for two more breaths. Last big deep inhale. And exhale, go ahead slowly, place the right foot on down. Then see if you can take a hold of behind the left knee, draw the left knee in towards the shoulder, maybe even taking a hold of the side of the left foot, drawing that in and then extending that leg on out. And just keep drawing the knee in towards the armpit as you ground down through the right hip. Taking a nice big deep breath in and exhale. Keep kicking the left heel up towards the ceiling. Last big deep inhale and exhale. Go ahead, draw the left knee all the way over to the right side. Snap, crackle, pop is always okay as long as there's no pain. Inhaling and exhaling. Last big deep breath here. And slowly send the left foot on down and extend it on out, Shavasana. You can come to close the eyes and just release the hands on down alongside the body. Take a nice big deep inhale into the belly. And sigh it out. And then just take a nice big deep breath into the heart space, inhaling and exhaling. Take 
take a moment to clear the mind. to ground down in stillness. And to just let go. You can stay here, or you can begin to roll onto your side and press on up to a comfortable seated position. Taking a moment to honor all that you have done. And all that you do. Knowing that even though the journey and the road is long, life is a marathon. And all you have to do is keep on putting one foot in front of the other. Take a moment to thank yourself for setting the time aside and coming to practice and honoring all that you have done, knowing that you are worthy, you are more than enough, and you are exactly where you need to be on and off the yoga mat. Have an amazing rest of your day, night, evening, weekend. Namaste.